House Energy and Commerce Committee Chairman Frank Pallone said the Democrats' first oversight hearing on EPA enforcement will focus on how low staffing in the agency's compliance division was impacting the agency. The problem is the Trump administration has actually diminished the number of staff people that work at EPA that do enforcement, and this results in less protection of people's health and safety and less protection of the environment, Pallone said in a video announcing the hearing. The EPA Office of Enforcement and Compliance Assurance saw a net loss of 131 full-time employees, 17.8% of its staff, over the last two years, according to EPA data. Susan Bodine, Assistant Administrator of the EPA's Office of Enforcement and Compliance Assurance, said last month that EPA was using all the tools at its disposal to deter misconduct by polluters. She will testify at Tuesday's hearing. An EPA official did not provide further comment. The Environmental Integrity Project, led by former EPA Civil Enforcement Director Eric Schaffer, said the decline in enforcement and inspections posed a disproportionate threat to poor communities located near big infrastructure like refineries and power plants. Those cutbacks are leaving communities, including those with high poverty levels and African American or Latino neighborhoods, exposed to public health risks while letting polluters off the hook for serious violations of the law, Schaffer said. He will also testify at the hearing on Tuesday.